Hey, hey, uh, welcome to Coach Misty's Kitchen. So if you are watching this video, that means that you have said yes to lasting transformation. You have said yes to Optivia, and you have decided that you are ready to jump in and make a change in your life. So I just wanted to record a real quick video just to kind of let you know about the process. Um, there's a lot of information that's coming at you and coming to you, and I just want it to be simple and not confusing. So um, this is really your kickoff uh, for your first week on Optivia. So I welcome you. Um, the first thing I want to tell you is that you're going to get a very large box that's going to have 22 items, okay? And each of those boxes have seven fuelings in them, okay? And that gives you just enough for your 30 days worth of fuelings. You will have five fuelings, which will look like this. You'll have five fuelings that you will eat each day, and then your one lean and green. So your lean and green is the meal that you purchase out or if you um, create at home, okay? You're gonna receive an Optivia guidebook. And in that guidebook, you'll turn it right over here um, to page, I think it's 16, and it will tell you all the parameters for your lean and green meal, how much of your protein, and then how much of your vegetables you can have. If you're one of my clients um, or one of my coach's clients, I will have sent you an email. And in that email, it will also include um, a little more information. I think that this is very important. Um, you will need to weigh and measure your food, okay? When you're making your lean and green, it's very important to weigh your food. You'll wanna get a digital food scale, okay? Um, there will be an Optivia vegetable conversion chart, okay, that will be included in your email. It's a welcome email, okay? And then there will also be a condiment list, okay? And that condiment list tells you every condiment that you can have while you're on program with Octavia and the amount of measurements for those condiments, okay? So those are really great. Uh, there's also a um, chart here that will tell you about your healthy fats and um, it'll let you know what kind of healthy fats you can have because you'll have one lean, three greens and a healthy fat based on what type of lean you have in your day, okay? Uh, and three condiments. So in your box, you're going to receive six, uh, 22 boxes, okay, of fuelings, seven in each box. You'll receive a guide, you'll receive a blender bottle, and you'll receive a um, Habits of Health book if you've ordered that, and your life book, okay? Um, your life book is what changes this, okay? Um, the fuelings help you um, get into a calorie deficit, fuel your body, keep you in fat burn, but this book here is what transforms your mind and your thinking about your choices, okay? So all those things will come into your kit. It may be a little overwhelming. Do not be overwhelmed, okay? Read the guidebook from start to finish. In the guidebook, you will have um, a week Every, every week there's guides, there's information in here to help you. But also in the back of the book, there's a tracker, okay? So that you can track your progress. You can track how much water you're drinking. You can track um, how much, uh, fuel, which fuelings you're eating. And so you can journal to make sure that you're staying on track. If you've not ever food journaled, this is a really good tool to use when you first start program, okay? All right, so a couple other things I wanna talk about. So you've got in your box, you've got it unpacked, you've put it away in your cabinet, however that works for you. Some people buy the uh, big uh, shoe storage bins that can hang on the back of their door and they put their fuelings in there. Others buy baskets, some just store in boxes. You will figure out what will work for you and what works the first week may change as you um, progress throughout your program, which is great because that is you learning to um, make this part of your lifestyle. 
So a couple other things that I wanna to talk to you that I personally have on hand as an um, Optivian, things that are very important to me on program. I have purchased a Nutribullet or a Magic Bullet um, for blending my shakes. I love to make them into frappes. Um, I take a creamy vanilla shake and I add coffee to that instead of water and I will um, blend it in my Nutribullet with a little bit of ice for a frappe or I will add it warm to my um, larger blender and blend it for uh, my coffee each morning. You can also shake it in your shaker, but if it is warm, it will explode. So do not do hot coffee in the shaker. It just builds up so much pressure because of the heat. And when you go to pop that lid, woo, it's gonna get everywhere, okay? Another very important thing that I have enjoyed on my journey is I um, bought a Dash griddle and a Dash uh, waffle maker. And so I use these for lots of my fuelings. Um, I make potato cakes, I make potato waffles, I bake my pancakes in um, this uh, little tool here. And I also put my brownie, my chocolate chip cookie in. Um, I also make an oatmeal cookie out of our oatmeal and I put that in the Dash as well. I will send some videos um, and start creating some videos on how to, um, do that. So, okay, a couple other things I just wanted to share for you are with you before you get started. So, it's the night before, okay? You're gonna receive a video from myself or from your coach that's gonna be a kickoff video, okay? And it's just gonna remind you to set your timer. I use the Eat Wise Timer or Dr. Anderson's Habits of Health Timer. It is an amazing resource, okay? I love them both. I really have fallen in love with Dr. A's because it has a stop, challenge, choose option. And when I'm struggling or I'm having a hard time in a moment where I want to eat something that is off program, I can go to my phone, I can hit that stop, challenge, choose, and he is gonna challenge me in my decision. And then I can journal what I did to conquer that, which is so important and part of the process on this journey for lasting transformation. Okay, for my um, dash, I use a coconut and avocado mix. The reason why is because I love coconut oil and I love avocado oil. They're clean, they're very good for you, but avocado is a high cooking point. And I've noticed when I use olive oil in my dash, sometimes it would burn, or if I just use coconut oil, sometimes it would burn or it would stick. But I figured out the coconut avocado oil mix spray will actually keep my um, product from burning, okay? Um, you are able to have healthy snacks, okay? And so these are optional when you're on the five-in-one program. Um, you're just having a really hard day and you're hungry, you can't make it to your next meal, you've got like an hour and you just want a snack, you can have half of a Jello packet. Sugar-free Jello is amazing. You can have gum, you can have pickle spears. Um, we love Clausen pickles. I like these uh, sandwich slices, but apparently they're out of stock. And so we've just been eating these little ones, but you find what works best for you and what's your favorite. Um, also, you wanna add an electrolyte, okay? You're drinking lots of water, okay? You should be drinking 64 ounces up to a gallon of water a day. And so you wanna make sure that you're drinking an electrolyte to keep your body hydrated and to make sure that you have um, those electrolytes in there. So you can do these propels. Um, they're uh, made by Gatorade. You could do the Gatorade Zero, the Power Aid Zero, whichever works for you. Um, another thing that we actually love is um, the Walden Farms. So Walden Farms has zero calories, zero fat, and zero carbs on their dressings. They also have um, syrups for your waffles and for your pancakes, and they also have syrups for your sugar, uh, for your creamer, or your, um, yeah, your creamer for your coffee. Lots of people struggle with not having something in your coffee, so you can definitely use these as well. I like the G Hughes sugar-free um, products. I really enjoy his sugar-free ketchup. Um, if you're wanting to have ketchup as one of your condiments, 
And then, um, so those are just some options. So it's the night before, you're ready, you got all your stuff stored away, and you're gonna start your program the next morning, okay? The first thing that you wanna do before you go to bed is you wanna find your fuelings for the day, okay? And you want to lay them out. Um, you see, I only have four here because um, I didn't grab another one, but so you will lay out your five fuelings before you go to bed, okay? And then you will also want to kind of have an idea of what you're gonna have for your leaning green and when in that leaning green is going to be. Um, most people want to do that in the evening, but you can do it at lunchtime or you can do it at breakfast, whatever fits into your schedule, okay? So lay out your fuelings. When Fred and I first started the program, we would label them one, two, three, four, and five, so that we would stay on task and not forget to eat one. A lot of times life gets busy, you're on the run. So that's a very good idea to help you stay focused and stay on task. Um, I always encourage men and women to stash a fueling in your vehicle. Um, probably not the creamy double peanut butter, it's gonna melt. Um, the ones that have the frosting or the icing on them, they tend, if, it, if you live in a hot area, or in Texas, obviously, um, I wouldn't put probably a bar in my car um, unless it was in a, cool, a cooler place where it could stay cool. Um, but you could definitely use crunchers or you can use a cereal, just things that are gonna be easy for on the go, but have an extra fueling just in case you get stuck somewhere and you don't have your fuelings with you, okay? So I would bag these up in a Ziploc bag and I would have them labeled and ready for day one. So tomorrow you're gonna wake up you're going to relieve yourself in the restroom. When you get done relieving yourself, you're gonna step on that scale, okay? And so you wanna make sure that when you're weighing in your first week, that you're weighing in the same attire or not any, your skivvies, whatever you choose. <laughs> so, um, but you'll relieve yourself, you'll weigh, and then you wanna make sure that you have that first fueling within the first hour, okay? It's very important that you get your body jump started and when you have that fueling, set your timer, okay? Go to EatWise or Dr. A, make sure that you set that timer so it reminds you to eat in two and a half or three hours, okay? So I think that's all of the tips that I have for you guys today on starting off and getting um, set for your first day. Um, you will also take your measurements the night before and you will want to weigh the night before as well. And you'll wanna document that on um, your records so that you can come back and keep an eye on what you're doing. I've had lots of clients who've taken pictures of their scale so that that is a documentation. Um, you'll also wanna do a before and after picture. Uh, make sure that you're wearing neutral clothing and in, a, in an area that's not going to be distracted distracting from the picture. So, um, okay, well, I think that's just about it. I'm so very excited for you to start your um, first day, and I can't wait to hear about how well you do. Um, you always have access to reach me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or you can personally reach out to me in Messenger, and I'm happy to share any tips, any tricks, or information that you would need. So welcome to Optivia. I'm so glad that you've made a change um, and a choice to have lasting transformation. Have a blessed day.